Well, another interesting story today. We've come down to the QE2 school and uh, behind us is quite an interesting bit of kit. And uh, to explain all about it, I've got here the uh, head teacher and also the minister. Uh, Sue, explain, what is this? It's a biomass boiler. Um, it might surprise people to know that I am no expert in the technology behind it. Um, I am reliably informed that it takes wood chip from wood which is grown locally and it uses that wood chip to convert into energy to heat our school. And it's been doing so for a month now with great success and it means that we are becoming um, an, a sustainable school. So we're using, instead of importing oil, burning oil, increasing the fossil fuel consumption, we're now using sustainable energy to, to heat the school. Whose idea was this to go ahead with this? Um, it's one that sort of emerged over time, really. I think the technology side of it was coming through from um, the Department for Agriculture and Environment. Um, as a school, we've been very interested in looking at sustainable energies, uh, but we were looking more at wind turbines and looking at um, will wind work and establish that, yes, it will here, funnily enough, we have enough wind to um, create energy and electricity. Um, but the department was looking for a school um, to use a biomass boiler. We were very pleased to be part of the project. It's handy, we're near St John's. We'd already planted 3,000 trees ourselves um, to offset our carbon footprint. So it seemed the ideal partnership. I mean, this school has got a, a reputation now for, for this sort of thing. I know you entered a competition recently which you just, just were pipped at, um, but do, will you get your wind turbine eventually? We sincerely hope so, yes. I mean, if we'd won the competition, that would have been $80,000 towards it, which would have obviously made a huge difference. Now we're back to looking at where we can get sponsorship, whether the government can afford to, to do so. It could, of course, generate enough electricity to give back into the national grid, um, which might in the end prove beneficial for everybody. Okay, uh, Minister, this thing doesn't come cheap, does it? No, it hasn't done. I think we're about £120,000, but as has been explained, I think... Uh, life expectancy of 25 years hopefully if it's serviced and looked after properly and we should get our money back plus a lot more savings. And is this something you're going to roll out in other schools as well? We'll certainly be looking at it in the future I think once we do a trial period here see how it goes and if it's successful then very much so I would think. So it's up and running for a bit but this is like the official uh, switch on today so you've got some idea of how it's performing? Uh, I haven't personally because it's the first time I've seen it but uh, it's been running for a month now yes and from what I've gathered it's been okay for last month so but we'll give it at least a good year I think to have a look at it and trial it and then uh, have a look at other schools where it's capable of doing. Obviously it needs, it needs a lot of space to be able to do this so there's other costs involved there when putting the boiler in, you know, new housing and things like that but over 25 year period it's got to be worth looking at. And with the sensitivity about budgets does this completely come out of your school budget or is it divided up between other areas? I think it's a mixture, but probably the majority of it is coming out of the school's budget or education's budget, if you like. But uh, the savings at four pence a unit for wood chip, because compared to the others, I think it's, uh, it looks like a good way to be going. So you can't give Sue her wind turbine yet, then? Not yet, but I, and I'm very disappointed that they didn't win. They did very, very well. The school did very well. They represented the Isle of Man superbly. They came second, and it would have been good if they'd have won that. They could have had the wind turbine, but uh, who's not to say next year?